Welcome to this bio brief. My name is John Sisto. I am an oral and maxillofacial surgeon in private practice in Park Ridge, Illinois. I attended dental school at Loyola University in Maywood, Illinois, and completed my residency and certification in oral and maxillofacial surgery at Cook County Hospital in Chicago. This bio brief examines a case of a 70-year-old female with missing teeth 19, 20, and 21. The residual ridge is very atrophic, requiring horizontal ridge augmentation prior to dental implant placement. The patient has a relatively low risk profile, except for the fact that the defect spans three teeth. The augmentation requires meticulous dissection and gentle handling of the soft tissue. A preoperative comb beam CT scan revealed ridge width less than four millimeters in the coronal third of the ridge. An incision was made mid-crestal over the edentulous area. Dissection was then carried out in a subperiosteal plane until the ridge was fully exposed on both the buccal and the lingual surface. At this time, scoring of the periosteum was performed on both the buccal and lingual flaps. Next, utilizing a 1.2 millimeter burr, interosseous holes were placed on the buccal surface in the edentulous area to expose the underlying marrow. The subperiosteal dissection was carried out onto the lateral ramus. This was for harvesting autogenous bone utilizing the Geitlich Micros Bone Scraper. The harvested Autogenous bone is then mixed with Geitlich small particle size BioOS. This anorganic bovine bone mineral provides a low substitution rate and long-term graft maintenance. This next slide shows the graft mixture nicely in place, adding significant horizontal augmentation to the site. A bioguide collagen membrane is then placed over the graft site. It's held in place on the lingual with either pins or screws and then brought over onto the buccal surface, completely covering the graft. The immobility of the graft by the collagen membrane is key to graft survival and healing. After eight months of healing, a dense, wide ridge was developed to accommodate three implants. A virtual wax-up was made that was custom to the patient's occlusion. This makes the crowns very accurate for implant placement. At the time of placement, all three implants achieved an insertion torque of greater than 50 newton centimeters. A coronal slice in the area of number 20 shows excellent ridge width obtained with this technique. Successful healing is seen here at four months. At this time, all Three implants were reverse torqued at 20 newton centimeters with no movement. One can see that these healing abutments are surrounded by thick keratinized tissue. This combination of good tissue, excellent bone, helps to uh, prevent any future bone loss and longevity of the implants. Keys to success. A wide subperiosteal dissection of the lingual and the buccal flaps with periosteal scoring, followed by blunt dissection of the flaps to create flap mobility and to decrease tension on the incision. Appropriate pre- and post-operative antibiotics to prevent infection are also very important. The Geitlich BioOS small granule size with autogenous bone scraping and a 50-50 ratio provides bone grafting material that is not only osteogenic, but prevents loss of bone due to breakdown in the long term. A large Geitlich BioGuide 40 by 50 millimeter uh, membrane to cover and contain the graft with pins and screws creates immobility and optimal healing. In conclusion, the use of Geitlich BioOS and BioGuide in conjunction with autogenous bone provides a graft system that consistently provides excellent bone for dental implant placement and long-term maintenance of bone volume. Thank you.